Hey guys, how are you all doing? This is Dan with Ledger Support. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about the difference between keeping your funds on the Ledger device and keeping your funds on an exchange. Let's talk about it. So to understand the difference between keeping your funds on an exchange or on your own Ledger device, it's super important to understand the basic concept of private keys. There is only two types of private keys in crypto, is public keys and private keys. Your public keys are often called addresses, but they're actually not exactly the same. The address is derived from the public key, so they're separate, but it's easier to think about them sometimes as the same thing. So you've got your public keys on one side and your private keys on the other side. The public keys are like your email address. You can safely share your public keys or your addresses so people can send you crypto. Your private keys, however, should never be shared because whomever has access to your private keys can access your accounts and steal your funds. And so the sole purpose of a ledger device is to be a tool to really help you create those private keys securely and then custody those private keys offline so they are safe from hackers. Okay, and now you might be thinking, I understand the private keys are important, but where are they? I don't see them on a device, so where have they gone? The answer is all your private keys are represented by this. This is a recovery phrase. It's given to you when you set up the device for the first time. Basically, your 24 recovery phrase encodes for all the private keys to all the accounts that you will ever create with that recovery phrase seeded into your device. So your 24 recovery phrase is not some random piece of paper with some random words on it it's actually super important. And that's why it's such a big responsibility as well, because whomever has access to 24 recovery phrase can very easily clone your private keys onto their own device or any wallet for that matter, access your accounts on the blockchain, create a transaction and then spend your coins. And that's also why we tell you guys to never, never, ever share your 24 recovery phrase. Anyone that's trying to access your 24 recovery phrase is a scammer and should be avoided. And by the way, if you want to learn how to keep your 24 word recovery phrase secure, there is a article on the help center that will list all the different tips that you can apply to keep your phone safe. Check it out. Okay, great. So now you might be wondering, all right, I understand that my ledger device is here to protect my private keys. And what's the difference between keeping my private keys into a ledger and keeping my private keys into an exchange? Doesn't Ledger have access to my private keys, just like the exchange has access to my private keys? The answer is absolutely not. There is a big difference between keeping your funds on a Ledger or on an exchange. If you keep your funds on an exchange, the exchange has your private keys. So they can basically do whatever they want with your coins. But at the end of the day, you have to trust the exchange to give you your private keys back when you ask for a withdrawal. But on the other hand, when keeping your funds on a ledger device, you are always in control of your private keys. So you don't need to ask permission from anyone to spend your funds. You can just do it. A second important difference is the difference between ledger accounts and exchange accounts. When you log into your favorite exchange and look at your accounts and the balances within them, what you're looking at is really a database that's maintained by the exchange itself, but you're not looking at the blockchain directly. So you don't really know how much coins are backing your accounts. So you just have to trust the exchange that the crypto is there. So whenever you want to withdraw it, then they'll give it back to you. When looking at Ledger Live, however, what you're seeing is really the blockchain itself. So you can be sure that the crypto is actually in the account. Ledger Live is fully transparent, unlike a exchange account. So really, it's a no brainer. On the one hand, you have complete control of your private keys and you can do whatever you want with it. On the other hand, you have to trust the exchange to be responsible with your private keys. And whenever you need those coins back, then you have to ask permission from the exchange to give them back to you. So on the one hand, you have a custodial system, that's the exchange. On the other hand, you have a self-custody system, which is keeping funds on your ledger device. But of course, there is a catch. And the catch is keeping your private keys yourself is a big, huge, actually, responsibility because you have to make sure that nobody has access to your private keys. 
This means never ever share your 24 recovery phrase, but also keep those recovery phrase secure because if anything happens to them and you also lose your device, then there is nothing we at Ledger can do to save you funds because we simply don't have a copy of your private keys because we never know your private key in the first place. You're the only person that's ever seen your recovery phrase when you set up the device. Ledger never has access to this information. And frankly, we don't want to have access to this information. So hopefully now you see the difference between keeping your keys on an exchange and keeping your private keys into a Ledger device. So if you want to check us out, you can go to ledger.com and compare our different devices and also have a look at Ledger Live, the app. Now, if you need some help getting started, or if you have any questions regarding crypto security, DeFi, how to manage your funds, how to stay safe on the internet, how to keep your crypto secure, then feel free to reach out to support. This is our job. We're here to help you guys make this journey enjoyable and also safe. So there's two ways to reach out to us. The first one is via the help center, which you can find on the website. You go to ledger.com, there is a tab called support. You click this and you'll be teleported to our help center. On the help center, you can either look for our documentations. We've got tons of different tutorials, but you can also start a live conversation with a support agent by just clicking the contact us button. You can also reach out to us via Twitter, but just a quick disclaimer, Twitter can be dangerous because there are a, a lot of fake accounts run by scammers that will try to impersonate Ledger and steal your 24 order recovery phrase. So just a few tips on how to be safe on Twitter. First of all, our account is Ledger underscore support. That's Ledger underscore support. So always make sure to double check the uh, name and also to check that we have the check mark. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is Ledger will never, never DM you. The third thing to keep in mind is that we will never, ever ask you for your 24 word recovery phrase. So again, be super careful on Twitter. Again, do not share your 24 word recovery phrase with anyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, Drop them in the comments. If not, I'll see you next week in the next video.